Hey guys, Kids Prius here, and we're back with some more Enshrouded. So, I've been busy. I uh, I built some more of the towers on the inside, and I gave myself a little footpath up to the base. Not a little footpath, but stairs. I brought them down a little bit, kind of brought them coming out diagonally, so it looks better. It gives it more of a... so it's not so flat on the front of the base, which is nice. Basically, I dug it back a bit, built stairs, and then replaced the dirt with grass. So it looks nice and, uh, well, just nice and like a field. Now you can come up here. Got another little platform there and then it comes up again there. That looks really damaged. I think I dug that out. I'm not entirely sure. And then that's into the entrance. Put a run down the side there. Make it look like that the metal grate slides up and down, which is good. The middle part's still the same. And I've changed the towers. I'll just go up there now. Right, so with the towers, I have given ourselves a way up. As you can see, I've put more lights in here. Got my hanging one there. That was already there. But I put these little braziers here. Added some more detail to the bottom of the stairs there. And made it look like it stands out a little bit. I did add more to it, but it looks a bit much. So I took it down. And then in the towers, we now have this. So we have built the stairs up. And I've built the hanging brazier down from the ceiling, which is good. I've uh, detailed the windows a bit, brought up the frame around it, and I built this little railing on the stairs, which I think looks really nice. That goes all the way up. I like the way it looks. So you can now come up here. I haven't done anything with the back wall. Detail will be added to it. Added some more detail to the door frame there as well. But you come up here, and that leads you up to the top. Change the detail around here, which is fine. Forgot to actually put the stairs in for that part there. Let me get that in there now. There we go. I can't believe I forgot that. And then I've got some more lights up here as well. They're a pain because I've had to go out and grind materials for them. But I've done it anyway. I'm just chilling out and just done it in the evenings. But yeah, I like that. Looks good. Got the hanging brazier there. It's all lit up at night. It looks amazing. I've missed these ones because I didn't want to get lights on all of them. But that's pretty much it for the uh, the towers, I think. I'm going to obviously, I will add more. The wall looks really flat. I could probably change all that. And I've done exactly the same to the other side as well. Oh, I've got the hanging brazier in here. Okay, need to get that set up. I knew I'd forget something. I need to get one in there. But up here is done the same. Overlooking the rest of the kingdom. It's pretty damn high, if you ask me. Maybe a little bit too big. Might have got a bit carried away with it. But, oh well, it is what it is. I also changed the top of the windows there. I gave it more of a peak. Added a little bit more detail and built kind of like a little fancy frame around for the door. That I am quite happy with. I am I'm happy with how that is looking now. Uh, I can grab all these torches actually. I don't need these up here. Uh, there isn't any. Okay, well that's just the hallway. They need to stay there. I need to get lights in. Right today I'm thinking we dig out the um, the top floor, so the second floor. So we've got this little balcony that goes all the way around here. We need to get this area built down here. This is going to be the throne room stroke, kind of like the king's quarter area, like the banquet hall and things like that. That'll all be down here. Uh, but we really, really need to start working on the detail of the buildings because uh, it's just a shell at the moment and it's nothing fancy apart from that part in the middle. I'm way impressed with that. I love that bit. So we're digging out this part today. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time, but I've got an idea of what I'm going to do. What material am I using to dig out? It's this one, isn't it? I've got a lot of that. I just hope we've uh, I hope we've got enough room. Right, I'm going to start off by chiseling out the front area just so I can see how far in I want to go. Ah, okay. Well, that brings us to the roof downstairs. Uh, to be honest, I kind of knew that was going to happen. That is why I doubled up the roof downstairs in the first place. But now, I can put that on top. So the water floor... Oh, God, I'm slowed because of the snow. All the floors are doubled. So the roof downstairs is doubled up. So there's this, and then underneath it, you've got the fancy roof downstairs, which is fine. I can just double that up easy. It's not a problem. It means I can chip into it and do designs in the floor and not have to worry about it punching through town stairs, you know. I'm running out of that rough uh, weathered stone block, though. I need to go get some more of that. I've got some stone, but not too much. Right, how wide am I going to do this? I might go... So this is just the hallway that leads in. So I'm going to go too wide, I reckon. So that's one. Hold on, is that even right? Yeah, I like that. So that'll be there and then there. Right, so for this room, it's basically going to be a two... Uh, not two by two, what am I about? It's definitely not a two by two. The snappings on this, I feel it's got really weird on me. 
It's just snapping everywhere other than where I'm looking. Uh, this room is going four by four. I feel like that will be sufficient for it. And then obviously I will take it up by however many I've done downstairs. What, three, four, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah, so that's a four by four. I want to get a doorway in here. So I'm probably going to smash one in there. So that will be doors, which I'm just going to use the material that I'm using now, just so I can get the layout of how I want it. Uh, we'll have that on the inside. There we go. And then I can smash some walls in here as well. Wait, what? That's uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Because it's, uh, it's in between. I was wondering why there's a little gap there, but it's in between foundations, so it's a centered door. And then I'm going to get the same over this side. I'll have a door in as well. So I'm used to building out of the uh, weathered stone block that I forgot I'm actually building out of the uh, this block. Regular stone block for the walls. Just completely forgot. <laughs> and now I've had to switch over. All right, I've built some more weathered stone blocks. Uh, I'm going to have to um, have to go out and grind some stone in a bit. Shouldn't take long though. I'm glad it all comes back, even after you've been out grinding it all. Otherwise, we'll be having an issue. I'd end up with holes everywhere. So, um, I pushed it back five squares. The uh, the king's throne area should be at the end of this. Then there'll be a giant hallway that pushes back with the king's throne. That's where people seek audience. So that will be where they are going. Right. Let's uh, let's get this wall in place as well. I'm gonna have a uh, I'm gonna have some doors in here, but I'll have to. Hmm, am I going to do this? I feel like I'll, uh, I'll have it inwards. Right, doors are a no-brainer, really. They're easy. I'm going to have it on the third because it's uh, five long. So it's one, two, three, and then four, five. So it's in the center. That will be, uh, behind one of these doors will be a giant banquet hall where people will eat. When I say giant, I mean, it's going to be big, but it's not going to be huge. Um... But yeah, that'll look alright. Right, I think I'm going to have a little bit of chipping out to do it. Because the floor, although it is how I want it, this stuff is going to protrude. Which is going to be annoying. All this is going to have to come out. And I'm going to have to replace it with the actual floor that I want in place. Right, so this room is a 4x4. Four four. Banquet hall is going to be that side, so this is going to be the kitchen. Uh, I'm going to push it back one more. We can get stores in there, which is absolutely fine. And then we'll have this as like a little uh, entrance way into the kitchen. We'll have a door coming off here. And I think we'll have a door coming off here as well into the banquet hall. And I think that'll look quite nice. There we go. That'll do that. Storeroom. Kitchen. And whatever. We're free to do whatever we want with this one, I suppose. Right, um, I feel like we should do the next room. This is going to be the banquet hall, so we're going to do in here. Then we'll do the uh, throne room, because that's going to be big. This is going to be pretty big as well, I suppose. I'm going to go up an extra wall here, so this is only two. Inside there, I want to go up three, because I want it to be, like, high ceilings. Maybe I'll get a couple of those braziers in there or something. I'm not sure yet. That's going to be a doorway. Uh, how many Why do I want to do this? Probably the same length as the hallway. So one, two, can't bloody see now. Three, that should take me down to the bottom wall. I haven't got any more torches. Ah, uh, balls. Oh, I've got a couple of these. I can use these. Yeah, I was right. Took me down to the wall. So that was like one, two, three, four. And then this will be the fifth. And then behind the fifth will be the main room, like the castle area. Not the castle, but, you know, the king's chambers. Right, I've changed my mind. I was going to go 5 by 11, but that is too small. Because if I'm going to get tables and chairs down here, and tables and chairs down there, it's going to be far too small. So I'm going to go, what? I reckon give myself three spaces for the tables, a row for the center, and another three. Maybe go seven. So the center will be like uh, like one, two, three. Center will be like here. Maybe I'll have double center. 
And then we'll do it. Okay, so we'll go eight. I feel like eight would probably be the best bet. There we go. Because I extended the main banquet hall. I need to extend the stairs. So, not the stairs, but the hallway leading to the throne room. So, that is now done. I need to change this door. So, it's going to be three, two... Uh, we can get a double door in there. And then one, two, three again. Yeah, that'll work. That'll look better. And I'm going to go up three as well, not two. All these hallways and stuff are too high. I'll make it a bit higher. I feel like it'll probably look better in the long run, I think. Right. Raised. Oh, well, I didn't raise. I pulled it back a bit as well. So that's like 11, but this will be 12. So this will be where the king sits when he's eating. He'll have chairs either way. So basically the tables are going to face this way. Looking down at the other ones that are facing lengthways, you know. I think that will look good. Can I get... How big is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three. Let's push that back. Might be able to get some windows, like a stained glass window behind him there. I think that'll look quite nice. Push it back a little bit. We can get something in that. Right, let's get the rest of this wall up in here. Right. That's what it looks like. Too high. I don't think that's high enough. That's not two foundations. That's two walls high. Four foundations. I feel like we need to go more. Yeah, we'll go more. We'll get another wall on top of that. And we can go... Um, we'll go three walls high. That's six foundations high. I feel like that will give it the bigger kind of opened up area. I'll have to try and think of something to put behind the chair, like the the king's location where he's going to sit. Still don't think it's very grand. I still think bigger, but I think it. I don't think it'll look right. We'll leave it as is. We'll just go higher, and then we'll see. Because I don't want it like to overshadow like the king's hall, you know. Oh, I hate it when it does that. It's just, uh, it just didn't take out kind of like one block depth. So I can't finish the ceiling. I'm going to have to go back over the ceiling to get it done properly. Because if I, I'll show you, I'll take that out. See, it goes up ever so slightly. I can't place anything above that. If I do, it doesn't, I can't see it. So I'll have to place two lots. I don't know if I'm getting them in the right place or not, which is a bloody annoying. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Bit of a waste of time, but I'll redo the ceiling. And then I'll have to go back over it again to make it bigger. Or higher, shall I say. Right. Last part. And I think that's the height I'm looking at. I mean, yeah, that looks pretty high. Yeah, that's more than high enough, I think. Definitely more than high enough. I think looks about right. Right, let's get the ceiling in place. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. Is it going to allow me to place that up there without it going? It is. Nope. Damn it. I don't know what's going on. I feel like the snapping system has definitely changed a bit. It's snapping to locations that we would never normally snap to. It's really weird. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I've been in this save for... Uh, well, it's my original save, so maybe my save's just on its way out. I don't know. Hopefully it's not on his bloody way out. I've just spent all this time building his huge castle in the mountains, and I'm, uh, I am don't want it to conk out on me. Not yet. At least let me finish it first. Yeah, that looks good. That looks much better. Definitely high enough. When I get rid of this, we'll be able to see it better. It's just uh, this is covering all the lights. Lights aren't going to stay like this. I'm thinking of maybe I'll put a dome in the middle, but I think it might look a bit much just for the banquet all to have like a massive dome. We, I feel like we do need something in the ceiling, though. These lights aren't going to stay in here because I don't like the colour of them. It's meant to be like a warm area, you know? We'll get some better torches up. There we go. That is definitely big enough now. Definitely big enough. Right, I'm thinking of changing the, the main floor. At least the centerpiece. Leading up to where the uh, king would sit. 
Why is that so far away? There we go. Then we've got three. Then we've got three. Might block off that door. I don't know why you would need that area coming into here when you've got an area from the kitchen coming in. Or I'll block off the kitchen door and leave that there. I feel like that will probably look a bit better. Either way, I'll, uh, I'll do that in a bit. Right, king sitting place. I'm going to raise that. I think if I snap that up there, I think that's going to be too high. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Maybe half? Uh, how do I measure half of that perfectly without having to... Okay, that's how you do it then. All right. Now, can I attach that to there? I can't. That is where I want it to be, though. That is how high I want the king's chair area to be. There we go. This isn't the throne room. This is where he'll be sitting with the important people. And the peasants will be down there. Ah, crap, I'm out. Uh, I'll make some more. Right, I'm back. Uh, I feel like I could possibly just nick some of this flooring from underneath here. I don't feel like I need it there anymore. It's no big deal, though, really. Right, okay. Stole some of that back. Now what I want to do is I need to unsnap that. I need to try and figure out how I did this downstairs. Is that two? That looks like three. That side is two. Oh, that's three, three and three. I need it. Can't measure it up because I can't see. I don't like the camera angles. They suck. That's three and three again. God damn it. Right, got it. Jesus, that was a pain in the ass. Uh, it's just the camera angles. They're so bad. I hit try to build. Right, okay, got it. You can probably see what I'm doing here. This is what I've done with the gate outside the... With the stairs outside the gate, I mean. Down to the ground, like so. And I'll bring that into that sort of material. No. Yeah, that works. I'll tell you what I might do. I might just, uh, just finish that off up against the wall. So it's got a full solid step for the last part, which it won't let me do. Okay. Well, I'll do that in a minute then. Let's get the rest of this. Uh, let's get this in. We'll go from there. Right. So that's what we've got. So the king, now we're coming down here. Now walk up here and sit up here. I don't know if I like it with stairs all the way along or if I'll make it kind of like a solid, solid platform. Bring it out. And have the king sit in here with a big ass table that runs down there. I think that looks alright actually. We'll leave it like that. I think that looks alright. I'm going to have a window here. And then I'll put something else in there. I don't think I'm going to get any of those hanging braziers in here. Because they're so big. And they hang so far. Unless I sink it into the ceiling more. But I don't think the light will look right. Right. I'm thinking I'm going to chip out. Uh, too wide. Actually, I might just run it all the way down next to the floor, you know. I wanna... I was gonna go red marble, but I don't think I'll bother. I might just go, wow, I don't have much bronze on me. I might have to go get some. I'm, I've got loads somewhere. I just can't figure out where it is. Uh, let's put this in... Yeah, why is there a... Oh, that's the ceiling underneath. Right, I can't take that out like that. I'm going to run it down a real close to the path like that, just to make it look nice. I'm not going to give it a gap. There we go. I bloody knew I had loads somewhere. Found it. It was all in the box at the entrance. I just didn't bother bringing it with me because I'd never use it. It just makes too many blocks in your inventory if you're uh, carrying everything with you. I'll stick this in here like this. Get it all down one side and then we're going to have a proper look. See what it looks like. I like that. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. There we go. That looks nice. Yeah, that looks nice. Kind of uh, separates it from the dark material. Here, I'm going to be ripping up this and sticking like a, a walkway through. And again, the same here as well. Probably all the way around. Just so you, it's not just a, a solid line that leads you straight in. So this will definitely come out. Right. Stained glass. How much have I got? 280 left. Or 278. It's close enough, I suppose. 
Um, how am I going to do this then? Probably the same kind of pattern I've done downstairs in the other areas. But using the light block instead of the dark material. So we can get that. We can get that. We we'll snap it kind of in between like that, I reckon. That is mega bright, though. Uh, yeah, that is re <laughs> really in your face, isn't it? That one. Woo. Okay, that's in your face. Right, let's, uh, let's change that to this. We can cover some of this up so you won't see it anyway. So it won't be as, like, beaming, I suppose. That's the only thing I can think of. Right, and now we'll switch it to this material. And we'll use the lighter material up against it. Because we're not going all impending doom in here. This is all fancy and nice. Right, I changed my mind. It was uh, it was too it was too much. It was too glary. Too much in your face, I think. Uh, why won't that snap to there? I do not know. I'll do it manually. It's fine. Uh, down. There we go. Yeah, it, it was too much. It was too, too much bling. Too much in your face. Try and drown it out a little bit, I suppose. It was... Uh, there was no need for a window that big in uh, the uh, di dining room. Why won't it... I mean, that works, I suppose. It just won't snap. The snapping is really odd. There we go. That works. Right, now, obviously, I've changed the design, haven't I? So, now, this bottom part is a smaller. I need to try and figure out what the hell I am going to do with this section. Uh, if I do that, it's going to come through, but I can just... That should be okay. I can just chip off the bottom part or leave it, actually. And it doesn't look so bad. Bring it forward one, bring it over. And again, like, come on, that. Ah, no, that actually looks all right. I kind of like the bottom parts hanging out at the end. Looks like it should be there. Okay, well, that, uh, that, why can't it let me zoom in? It's like, I don't know, no idea. No idea. No idea what this game does after the things it does. Right. Let's see if we can, oh, that's too high. Let's see if we can do the same up the top. And see what it looks like. It might be a bit much. Alright, okay. Yeah, I like it. I like it. It's just, uh... It's covering an awful lot of the, um... The window up, I'm afraid. Maybe a bit too much. What about if I... Chip it down by one? And we can go from there. Okay, that's better. Maybe one more. And then that should be all right. The, the problem I've got is the smaller ones, which are these ones, are too bloody small, right? They're like way too small. And if I do that, it's just going to be too much window there. But that looks much better. Okay, well, we'll hop up and we'll reduce it by two like we did just there. That looks better. Let's have a little look from down here. Yeah, that's better. I like that. That looks much better. I'm going to have two windows instead of one in the middle. I want to get something nice that stands here. Overlooking the area. If I could build statues, it would be amazing. I'd get like a little statue in there that overlooks. But I can't I can't build statues. I don't know how to. Unless I can do it block by block. But that would be a, uh, a bit of a pain in the ass, I think. I mean, I'm definitely worth a try. I suppose. I mean, I might be able to do it, but we will shall find out. Probably a bit later. All right, let's get this last window in. All right, that is that window done. Yeah, I like that. That looks all right. Kind of looks nice. It brings a little bit of fake light into here. I mean, it's not massively bright. If I get rid of these green things, lights it up a tad, but not like in your face, in your face, you know. Why am I so zoomed in? There we go. I'm thinking of getting one above the door, but I'm not too sure. I'll have to double that up. If I'm going to do that. I don't know, though. It looks all right. That looks nice. I like this. Now I need to figure out to put something here, I think. See if I can get that in the corner. Is that one out? Yeah, that's one out. That looks nice. 
Uh, we'll get that there. Just to bring it up. We'll get some sort of pattern going on back here. Maybe like that in the middle. Kind of like what I did in my last build. But I am not going to stick like lights up here, maybe. I might. I could stick a brazier in there. That would look alright, I suppose. But I don't know if I'm going to. I don't know how it would look. Get that in there. Alright, those windows are driving me nuts. For some reason, they're not centered. I don't know why. Uh, balls, I'm going to have to rip it all down and try and figure out why it's not centered. It should be. There's no reason it shouldn't. Why it's not. There we go. Took a little bit of doing, but um, basically, I just had to move over one. Now, it doesn't match the floor. But it matches the columns. That's all that matters, I think. That's all I care about. Alright, let's rip this one down. Rebuild it. Right, that is perfectly lined up now. Whilst I'm up here, I'm going to seize the opportunity and place a couple of those little blocks up here. And do the same down here. Maybe only one there. Uh... Yeah, two. Otherwise, it looks a bit weird. And like, wow, I couldn't have even been any further out. I mean, that looks all right with just one. I think it proper, yeah, it proper squares it off when there's two. All right, we'll do that then. We'll I'd have to get a table and chair up here as well. Well, tables and chairs. I'm not going to do the whole room with tables and chairs. I just want to see what it looks like with that part done. Oh, I quite like that. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to get rid of these centerpieces. I kind of like it how, how it, that is. Like that. Why won't it let me get rid of that one? Yeah, that looks better. It looks better broken up like that with it not being joined up. Okay, nice. Yeah, that's nice. Why can't I move? Oh, because that's in the way. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Now I need to figure out what to do with the centerpiece. We can do that later. Probably going to copy that pattern I've done now on these other two parts as well. Don't know if I'm going to do it all the way down. Definitely going to be doing it for the top part. Right, I need to figure out what table and chairs I want to use. I'm going to head home and I'll have a little look. Right, okay. These bloody tables are expensive. I cannot make a lot of these. Um, they are really expensive. Right, I need to figure out where the centre block is, which is... Basically like there. And there. There. No. Uh, there and there. Now I should be able to line that up to the center. And get it back a bit where I want it. And like that. No. That's slightly out. Uh, the center of that column is like there. Uh, there, that's the centre. That'll do. That's about how far forward I want it to. That is perfect. So I built a few of them. I built... Uh, where's my mouse gone? It disappeared. Like four? Three or four? Uh, because they're so friggin' expensive. I haven't built many. Uh, I wonder if I can I overlap that. Does that look stupid? It does look stupid. Alright. Uh, okay. Okay. I need to figure out kind of how... Right, let's get rid of those blocks. Right, that is perfect. Now, I built a throne and eight chairs. I'm pretty sure I made another table. Maybe I only built three. But they are really expensive. I can make 16 of them, but I just didn't want to smash out like all of my resources just on them, you know. So, I figured that I'd only do a bit of it. Uh, right, let's bring this back. Like that. Can I still sit in it? I can. And I can't see a damn thing because everything's not measured properly, but that's fine. I mean, you can still see the king's seat. I mean, it doesn't look quite grand, does it? It looks really small in the grand scheme of things. And then we'll have, um, I don't know, maybe some seats next to it. Maybe we'll have like a family chair. And uh, like a family chair. And then we can go maybe some more chairs next to that. Like that. 
that's not even at all. Where is that lined up at? Okay. There we go. Uh, kind of straight. Yeah, that's good. I like that. <laughs> it looks so small. It looks so small in the room like this big. Look at the friggin' size of the room compared to like the king's seating area. It just looks tiny. It just looks so small. It kind of a little bit pathetic, actually. Uh, <laughs> so the plan is like I'll have my seat, then I'll have like I don't know my, my queens or my, my whoever's like kids or whatever. This is like the important part up here. I should have the king on his own seat in his own area, but I might remove those two back chairs in a bit. I don't know. There's two chairs next to the throne, but that throne is pitiful. Like, really poor. It's rubbish, in it? Look at it. Look how small it is. Rice. That's meant to be a throne, man. Unless it's just a chair. I'm pretty sure that's a throne. But the rest of the tables, I haven't got with me because I didn't make any, but they're going to be basically facing this direction all the way down. And uh, it will go from there. But I feel like I'm going to leave this here for now. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more, subscribe. Also, I've got a Discord. Link's in the description. Feel free to head over and say hi. And if you want to show me a bit of extra support, you can. I have a Patreon page. Link is also in the description. It is very much appreciated. And I just want to say a massive thank you to my YouTube subs, my YouTube members, and my patrons. I appreciate it very much, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for coming. Bye.